No doubt about it, traffic and weather take their toll on our streets every day. We really want to find out what's going on with our roads and throughout the city of Arvada. So the city hired Atkins Engineering, which teamed up with a company called Cartograph to assess our streets. It's meant to collect all the distresses on our streets to determine what kind of distress each street is. Where does the street rank from zero to 100? 100 being the best and zero being the worst. The 2015 pavement inspection is a follow-up to one taken in 2012. In that go-around, Arvada streets averaged a score of 62. With this year's program of collection, we're going to compare the two and determine where are we falling short on and where are the areas that we're actually gaining and where can we average this out to actually help improve the city streets. Cartograph's vehicle is outfitted with sensors that collect data as it moves along. You can see the red light, the laser that's shooting down onto the pavement. It measures a longitudinal profile, which gets the inches per mile of roughness as well as uh, wheel track rutting. Along with automated measurements, a crew inside the truck collects data through visual inspections. If we see a pothole on the other side of the road, we can log that as we travel past it so it gets the exact location, both from a GPS standpoint and from a distance standpoint from intersection. So the city will then know exactly where all the pavement defects are. They'll enter in, you know, how many cracks there are in a certain distance what type of pavement there is, whether they're on uh, concrete or asphalt, and where that changes. The screen up here is capturing and logging all the sensors that are being collected on the front bumper that are evaluating the road as we're driving. There's a distance measuring device. We know exactly where we are, GPS. And then there's also codes that pop up, and those codes are the distresses that I'm entering. So while you're driving on the road, you can see each distress that's getting entered into the system. In all, the assessment measures 20 different distresses. We've got cracks in the road that measure from either a, a thin crack that you can barely see to a wide crack that could be up to three inches wide, and we don't want to see those. Add the ever-present potholes that come with a climate like Colorado's, plus plenty of wheel ruts, and there's a lot to measure. Where we see a lot of rutting is up next to a signal, and that's also called a pushing and shoving. On concrete streets, you've got the same type of distresses where you have a whole slab that actually starts to settle, which it creates a stepping problem and you hear that thumping noise as people drive over. It's things we want to try to tr eliminate. It takes several weeks to collect data on every street that the city is responsible for maintaining. Once the data is gathered, it's all entered into computer software that gives each road its ranking from 100 to zero. We don't have any of that, that low, but we want to, want to make sure where we're sitting at over the entire city network. The data is expected to be available in the fall and will help guide planning for street maintenance. It'll definitely help us prioritize you know, on what streets need to be done right away. Um, also help us determine what streets are at a point where we need to try to schedule in a kind of a total reconstruction. In short, with a current annual budget of five and a half million spent on street maintenance, measuring every crack and rut now could avoid bigger bumps in the road for the future.